Welcome to Orange Line, I'm Alex Gove. And I'm Tiffany Brown. Our first story takes a look at the parties in the Greek organizations and social life at Baker University. Holly Proctor has more. New changes have occurred for Greek life and clubs around campus. In order to have a social event, a theme is required. When a party offended several students last spring, the IFC created the Student Advisory Board to prevent such incidences to reoccur. Ron Holden, Director of Multicultural Affairs, has been appointed as the advisor to the new organization. What the board does is, as was the current policy for IFC, um, groups had to register their social events. Uh, upon the registration, uh, they, when they have a themed party, those themes were then reviewed, sent to the newly formed Student Advisory Board to review those party themes, just to see, just to make sure that if it's potentially offensive that we could avoid a situation as we had uh, last year. A theme must be approved by the Student Advisory Board. Currently, the Greek Standards needs a theme approved within 48 hours of the event. Once approved, an email is sent and the event can occur. When the board was created, several students worried that the organization would restrict certain themes. Senior Kyle Jones believes that while the IFC and the Student Advisory Board have good intentions, there could be backlashes. I know for the other houses, however, they have their typical theme parties, like that's gone tradition, and so they are kind of have to fight that and change their tradition a little bit, which I think is a downfall, but it's a chance for them possibly to start a new tradition also. It's not really a restriction per se, it's if their peers see that a theme could be potentially offensive to, you know, any one student, then at that point, you know, the, uh, the groups that are registering the social event are given the opportunity to have a meeting. Uh, and discuss the social event um, and also to modify that social event theme to make it less offensive or non-offensive to potentially offended persons. One fraternity, Zeta Chi, creates events such as masquerades to avoid stereotypical themes. Its social chairman, Kyle Jones, agrees with the IFC and regulations of theme parties, but he feels that Greek life and campus organizations should not be the only ones affected. Raw. For the Greek side, I say they're doing a good job, but for campus-wide, for Baker as a community, they need to start looking as a whole because there are other parties, and the Greeks are not the only ones getting punished for it. Holly Proctor, KMBU. Thanks, Holly. If you eat in the cafeteria, you may have noticed that it's been closing earlier lately. Rita Murphy took a closer look. The cafeteria has made some slight changes to their hours recently. They have begun to close 15 minutes earlier at lunch. One reason for this change in time was because of the amount of students coming in to eat after 1.45. We do have some business between 1.20 and 1.40, but after 1.40, 1.45, typically we have zero customers. Um, every now and then we'll have one or two, but it's not really a substantial enough amount of business to warrant staying open those additional 15 minutes. Closing up the cafeteria by 1.45 also means that employees that start work at 6 a.m. for breakfast can be off work by 2 p.m., meaning that they will not run into overtime. Our overtime budget has been slashed, as I'm sure every department's um, overtime budgets have been slashed this year, and we're really doing everything we can to eliminate the need for overtime wherever we can. Part of the reason that we also changed the hours in the cafe. While employees may begin packing up earlier, students should not feel rushed to leave the cafeteria by 1.45. We're certainly not kicking any students out of the dining room. If you come in at 1.45, you can get your food. We don't mind if you sit here and eat your food and study and, you know, we'll, we'll be cleaning around you probably, um, but we're not kicking anyone out at 145. We're just taking the hot food down. So next time that you're eating in the cafeteria for lunch, be aware of the new time change. Rena Murphy, KMBU TV. Thanks, Rena. The Baker University student population has been sick recently, or at least some members have. Jeff Jones has more on the story. Sickness is spreading around campus. Nurse Ruth has seen a rise in students coming to the Student Health Center. We have averaged about uh, 18 a day uh, with the variety of, of, uh, of the flu and different uh, 
incidences of illness. Flu season is between October and March. Students should be aware of the risks that this time of year poses. The peak seems to be now in January, February, and March <clears throat> when, the, uh, when you get a lot more uh, people inside with the weather and, and uh, a lot more um, uh, germs around that you can uh, be susceptible to. One of the best ways to prevent the flu is the flu shot at the beginning of the season. The Student Health Center offers them for $10 at the beginning of the school year. And then you start with the symptoms of the, of the colds, with the sneezing and the runny nose and, uh, and the cough. And a lot of times the coughs have been that it, they, they complain even of chest pain, that it's so uh, intense and fierce that, that uh, the coughs are really uh, violent. So, um, you know, cough suppressants and expectorants and kind of the over-the-counter medication. One of the best ways to prevent the flu is the flu shot at the beginning of the season. The Student Health Center offers them for $10 at the beginning of the school year. There are also many other things you can do to pre help prevent it. The main thing is lots of hand washing, uh, just to the cleanliness, coughing into your sleeve or into your jacket rather than into your hands because we all know that then you're touching other things. But the hand washing, um, the amount of sleep, uh, lots of, uh, of good type of fluids, um, eating healthy three meals a day and vegetables and the fruits and all the good things that uh, keep your body strong. Uh, if, uh, the vitamins and uh, vitamin C is important. For more information or if you're feeling bad, you can go to the Student Health Center on the southeast end of campus. I'm Jeff Jones, KMBU TV. Thanks, Jeff. Up next, we have a quick commercial break, but I hear that you're going to be on the What's Bugging Us segment. Yep, Zach, Rocky, and I have more on that when we come back. <laughs> 